Hey folks, hello, welcome to the Divi Machine video documentation. My name is Roby, and today I'll be showing you how to add advanced custom fields to a post type, which is the second step to building your dynamic Divi website using Divi Machine and advanced custom fields. You'll find other great Divi Machine resources on our documentation site at help.diviengine.com, which will also be linked in the description of this video. If you get stuck with more complex challenges, definitely feel free to reach out to our amazing support team and they will help you find a solution to your problem. Now, before we get started, let's make sure that we're updated to the latest versions of Divi Machine, the Divi theme, and WordPress. Now that that's all sorted, why don't we jump right into it? Alrighty, so in the previous video, I showed you how to create a custom post type. So definitely please watch and follow that video if you've not already done so. We'll continue building our site here by going to custom fields here on the left hand side and then adding a new field group. For this video, I'll call the first field group cars since we're building a car listing website and we also called our first post type cars. Next, I want to create a rule for this field group by selecting post type is equal to cars, which is the custom post that I already made in the previous step. With this done, I'm gonna go ahead and click the publish button. Okay, so now I need to add fields to this field group by clicking on the Add Fields button. Because I'm building a car listing website, I need to add fields that would be necessary when selling cars. So the first field we're gonna add here is the make and model of the car. The field type is checkbox, and the three makes of cars we'll be starting out with here is BMW, Audi, and VW. I click Update to save this field, and now it's in there. Okay, so the second field we need to add is gonna be the price because we cannot sell cars without prices associated. I'm gonna go ahead and select the field type as range. I'm then gonna set the minimum range to zero and the maximum range to one million. I'm gonna click update and that will save this field in there. The third field I wanna add here is the image gallery field. Now, just as a note here, the free version of advanced custom fields does not have a field type gallery. Only the premium version does. Now, in order to get around this, I'm gonna select group as the field type, and then I'm gonna be adding images as the subfields. Now, when you go through this, make sure to make the type of each of the subfields the image type property. And with that in there, we're gonna click the update button to save this field. Our fourth field here is gonna be gearbox. The field type we're gonna pick here is select. I then add two choices, one on each line. The first one will be for a manual stick shift, and the second one will be for an automatic transmission. I'm gonna click update and that will save our field. Okay, so our fifth field is gonna be the year the car was manufactured. We're gonna put in the field type as range again, and I'll set the minimum value to 1990 since our cars won't be any older than the 90s, you know, like yours truly over here. And um, we're gonna set that max up to 2021 since that is our current year. And again, we're gonna go ahead and update this field to save it and lock it in. So mileage will be our sixth field here. We're gonna select field type as range again, and then we'll set the minimum value to zero and the maximum value to 300,000 and then we'll click update to save the field again. Now, if I go to my car's post type and add a new car, I will see all these fields that we just created. I also think that some categories would make a lot of sense here. So maybe we'll add something for petrol and diesel and assign each card to one of these. You can create categories however you think works best for your Dynamic Divi website, and more on that in some of the other modules in the step-by-step -step guide to setting up Divi Machine. And that is it, folks. I really hope that this video helped you better understand how to add advanced custom fields to a post type. And again, if this video did not cover what you were looking for, definitely check out our documentation at help.diviengine.com for more text and video which will help you better master the Divi Machine plugin. As always, definitely contact our incredible support team with more complex challenges that might come up and they will do their best to help you out. With that, this is Roby with the Divi Engine team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.